In this video, I turned a regular kid's toy into a snooker cube. My computer is currently broken, so I'm editing this in iMovie on my phone, which is a bit odd. So if it's not the normal level of extreme quality that my videos normally are, then that's why. So like, comment and subscribe. I put a lot of effort into this. I'd say I'm a pretty keen snooker player or pool player and I was playing it the other day and I realised this is incredibly inefficient. You see it's the whole line up the shot and then when you move like that and your arm jerks around the place, I don't know, and you miss your shot. Surely there's a better way of doing this. And there is. You see, I've come up with an idea that's going to revolutionise pool, that's going to revolutionise snooker, that's going to change the way it is played for generations to come. So I'm here with all the parts from a kid's toy, this old cowboy gun um, that I had when I was a kid, which I took apart a few months ago. I've forgotten how to put it all together, so I'm going to spend the next few minutes just trying to figure out how everything goes together, and then I'm going to use it to build my snooker cue. Right, so I figured out how it works. Pretty much what happens is you pull this, to cock it like that and then you push it all the way till it clicks in place so that this bit here gets locked behind that bit there then you pull this back so it gets ready like that that would normally fit inside here when it's screwed down but nothing's screwed down at the moment so it's all falling apart uh, so you put that in place like so so that would push a piece of ammo which it will be in here into this tube here and this little barrel would be yeah somewhere there then when you press this there's normally going to be a spring which won't fit in at the moment because it doesn't have the casing on but here ready to push this back when you press that because when you pull the trigger that moves down the spring will fire that in and push the piece of ammo out of the tubing so what i'm going to do is all of that okay instead of having a piece of ammo i'm going to have a long piece of piping or something which fits inside here, which can shoot out the end into a cue ball to play snooker. So yeah. Right, so I've put it together. Um, and pretty much just showing you how it works again. You'd normally cock it like, like pulling it there, there you go. So it clicks in place and then you just push it back. And then you press the trigger button for remember that thing to go down for that thing to fire out and push the pellet out. And it would just go boom. Lovely. So now what I'm going to do is take it apart again, figure out some way of getting a big pipe in here uh, to keep in place and then be pushed out at the end when you uh, pull the trigger. So yeah, I'll do that somehow now. Right, so now I've just got to make something which can fire out a pipe a certain distance. And I think I know how I'm going to do it. So pretty much we have to redesign the firing mechanism of the gun. And how are we going to do that? pretty easily. So uh, here we have the three important pieces in firing the pellet out of the gun. You've got the thing here which uh, gets pulled backwards, you've got this thing here which stays backwards when that gets pulled forwards again and pretty much what happens is that goes when, this, when, when you press the trigger this gets released and the spring goes whoop and pushes it forwards and it hits the pellet out of here. Now we're not hitting a pellet, so we don't need to worry about that. So what I'm gonna do instead is because this is the bit which gets thrown forwards, I'm just gonna attach something to here, which is gonna attach, uh, well, it's gonna be something attached to here, which is gonna fit through this hole, which is gonna fit out of the hole into the barrel. And what's gonna happen is the whole barrel is gonna go, when that goes, when that goes like that, boom, this barrel is gonna go, boom. Get it? Easy. Problem is, this little hole here, which you can see, well, whatever, is tiny. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this. I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to drill a hole in to make it slightly bigger so I can fit something slightly bigger in. I don't know what I'm going to use as the patcher piece between the barrel and the, the shooty thing, but I'll think about it. First, we cut off the end of this, which I think scissors should do the trick, but doesn't look like they are. So instead, we're just going to use slightly bigger scissors Okay, well I said that in the hope that I would find my big metal clippers so we could just cut it off, but I can't find them, so we're gonna have to be boring and saw it off instead. So I just cut it off, boom. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is get the big drill and just go... Right, nice, I cut a bigger hole in it. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna attach something to here, this top bit, which can fit through this hole so that when this goes, the little thing is going to go out of there and that thing is going to be attached to this thing 
which is gonna go ping. So, yeah. Big Brain over here has had a genius pro game move, like, idea. It's called having a pen. So, pretty much, this is what it looks like inside, as, as I've explained earlier. And uh, this is what it looks like as you're ready to fire. So the, big, the thing you can't really see because of the lighting, because I don't live in a studio. Pretty much. Okay, some pieces fell and that's bad. So as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by what I was making breaking, um, this thing here is ready to go bing, and this thing here is gonna be held in place. Now, if I get a pen, the pen fits perfectly through the hole. So it will be attached to the thing that you saw earlier on. And when that goes ping, this is going to go ping to about there. And now if I just glue that end of the pen to this, like so, like that, when the thing goes ping, this thing is going to go ping just a little, just a little bit but enough for me to hit the cue ball. So this is what's going on at the moment. I'm just waiting for the glue that I've just hot glue gunned uh, to uh, cool down. So that's the firing thing that goes piang inside of there. Uh, and that means that when that goes piang inside of there, this thing is also gonna go wham. Uh, and the end of it should go a little bit, just a tiny bit, just whoop, uh, and hit the cue ball. Uh, so you're gonna have to get pretty close, but eh, whatever. What I'm also gonna do is attach this and this as well. This is a little laser pointer from a little spy gun tool thing that I had when I was tiny. Um, and it basically just points a laser at where you're going to fire. So I'm going to put that above the barrel. And I've also got this, which is a little little scope, uh, which I'm going to put as well to help you aim. Because uh, you really need to be able to win those those snooker games easily uh, with this tool. So, so yeah. Okay, so I just tested it. And I mean, this happened. Turns out that using a little biro pen that was already broken is not the best idea because it's not the strongest of things I could use. But instead, I'm just going to take it apart and replace it with something else. I'll find something. Uh, and also, the end when I did it kept on going like this, Ooh, kept on flopping about. So I've remembered that there's another part of the gun which I haven't yet included, which is sort of like the sub barrel, the bit underneath it. Uh, and what that's going to do is just give it something to do like that. To keep like to keep inside so that it doesn't just start flopping about everywhere because this is going to be screwed in this bottom bit's going to be screwed in so it's going to be tight so this is going to be like yeah it'll work <laughs> it works it's amazing <laughs> so basically this is how it looks now when i hold that in there this happens so right now it's just this do you see and you do this you put that there you, you cock it So the thing just shoots forwards, and uh, let's say the cue ball is my hand. See? It's amazing! I mean, look, I'll show you in the camera, look. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. So I've done what I always do when it doesn't work, and basically I've just coated it entirely in hot glue. Um, I've attached that to there with hot glue so it stays in place. And now, if I just like that. It works. Nice. Nice. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> so now I'm going to go attach the scope and then play some sneaker. Right, so this is the finished product. So... <laughs> Speedy kid. Oh, you can't even read that probably. Anyway, so I attach this piece of wood here and on one side of it I attach the scope. And that, that's it. So I've got a scope now. So I just line up the shot. I, I, cock, I, mean, I, I cock it, so line up the shot, and then... <laughs> this is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. So... <laughs> you can see it go in. Okay, from here, I'm going for the, for the four. Oh, it's not very... Not very powerful, but that doesn't matter. I didn't tell you, did I? The guard that I put on is this piece of metal. So I just bent it into shape, and basically you just slide it on like so, and it keeps it in place, so like that, for example, which is pretty smart. I 
wish there was a better cue that I could use. I mean, they're good, but wait, what's that I see? <gasps> An actually good snooker cue made out of a toy gun. Yes, please. Now, actually, seriously speaking, it's not actually that bad. I mean, it's, it, it actually works. I thought I would talk through a few of the defining features of the Myers snooker cube. So, you've got the easy cocking mechanism. Easy. And then you've got the no aim required, or very minimal aim required. All you need to do is just go line up and bam and it hits the ball. One of the biggest difficulties for a beginner in pool is how to use your left hand or your right hand, depending on what hand you are, to do this, to hold like that, because it keeps getting in the way. You can do it with this, with one hand. Watch. It's perfect. And that's why you should always go for the Myers snooker cue.